It's hard enough losing a loved one to COVID-19, but in Sri Lanka, Muslims and Christians who've died during the pandemic have been forcibly cremated against the beliefs of their relatives. The policy was introduced last April after Buddhist monks said burials could infect groundwater with the coronavirus. The World Health Organization says there's no risk of this. The parents of a 20-day-old baby that died of the virus were among those denied the chance to bury their child. When we called the hospital, they said the baby had died. Only then did the doctor say the PCR test was positive, so we can't give you the body. They said there are rules brought in and that the cremation can be done even without my signature. But they went ahead and did as they wished. More than 450 people have died of COVID-19 in Sri Lanka. More than half were Muslim, even though they make up just 10% of the population. Community leaders say people fear seeking treatment and being cremated if they die. Activists say the government's reversal of policy happened only because of a request from Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan and criticism from the UN Human Rights Council. You know, like this whole reversal of the policy has made us to think Sri Lankan citizens can get only get their rights that is enshrined in our constitution by only through international pressure. There is no way. We went to court, we went to Supreme Court, we went to almost every judicial process possible. Nothing changed. Sri Lanka's health ministry gave no reason for the decision to reverse the ban, but on Twitter, Pakistan's prime minister thanked his Sri Lankan counterparts. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.